Welcome to this quick video tutorial of Slim Drives. This will show you how to use Slimware Utilities cloud source software to update your hardware drivers, your software, and your version of Windows. To get started, first launch Slim Drivers. This is the main console. At the top are tabs that allow you to navigate to the various tools that come with Slim Drivers. When it first opens, you're automatically on the main scan and update tool represented by the home icon here at the top. On the right is a status box that tells you how many available updates were discovered on your last scan. Alternatively, it'll tell you if your PC is up to date or if you've never run a scan before, it'll tell you that you need to do so. The console also includes an update check, letting you know if your copy of Slim Drivers is the most up to date. At the bottom is a PC overview giving you upfront information on the computer you're running, including a readout and the processing speed, virtual memory, and the operating system that's currently installed. When you're ready to scan your PC for updates, just click Start Scan. You can see Slim Drivers go through the four scanning areas. It reads the system information from your computer first. Then it requests updates from the Slimware Utilities Cloud, getting up-to-the-minute information on the detected updates. Next, it contacts the web to see if there are available software updates. And finally, it queries the Windows Update Service to get Microsoft updates. If there are indeed updates available, an X appears, indicating that the component on your computer is out of date and needs new information. When the scan is complete, it lists all the updates available for your system. On the left is the driver or program name. Scroll down and you can see each section. It looks like I need several driver updates, one software update, and a few Windows updates. On the right is an option to download that specific update right away. Click it, and it will begin downloading that item. If I wanted to initiate all the updates at once, I would simply click Download All. If I wanted to download most, but maybe not all the updates, I can selectively ignore certain items by simply placing a check in the box labeled Ignore. This tells Slim Drivers to skip that particular item and it grays out the update option. Sometimes a single piece of hardware has several drivers associated with it, forming a package. It's designed to have the whole package updated at once. So if you choose to ignore one of these, Slim Drivers will tell you. Select Yes and Slim Drivers will automatically ignore all the drivers in a package, graying out each one's download option. Okay, now I'm ready to get my updates. I'll click Download All. When you click Download All, Slim Drivers displays a message telling you that it's going to require several restarts during the update process. This is because updating drivers can often involve resetting certain system features. This lets you know that the whole process could take some time. It's then going to ask if you want to create a restore point. To protect your computer, Slim Drivers has an automated restore point maker. This makes a snapshot of your whole system, labeling by date and time. If something gets changed in a way you didn't want, you can always go back and restore the snapshot. During the download process, you can watch Slim Drivers select updates and begin their installation. Follow the install wizards that pop up to finish each install process. Remember that you are in control, so you can selectively cancel or install if you want. When it's finished, Slim Drivers returns you to the main console. This display keeps you up to date, letting you know what updates are still available to you later if you decide you want them. In the next tutorial, we'll look at using the backup and restore features built into Slim Drivers.